Nobody died. Only two people fainted and were revived. Nigerian army reveals. Only proofs would show if this is true or not. Even though many evidences have been making rounds in the internet, the Nigerian army has still hell-bent on denying the fact that anything actually happened as reported by both local and now. International Media House More and more lies or truths. Who knows which one to believe anymore? After saying they were not at the scene, they were further to say that they only shot blank and later changed that they only shot into the air. Wow, how comprehensive of the Nigerian army. The Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry for the Lekki Gate shooting and SARS related issues have been going on for weeks now. What the Nigerian army is still saying is that nobody died, nobody got injured, and that nobody was shot at Lekki Gate. The most recent update is that only two people fainted and were revived. During the panel sitting yesterday, General Ibrahim Taiwo, who is the representative of the Nigerian Army at the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry, stated that he called in during the incident when videos were going viral that people have been shot at and killed at Lekki. He stated that he had called in also to notice that it was Colonel Bello who gave the instruction for the soldiers to open fire on protesters, not on matter as reported by different social media platforms and blogs. We said Bello was there before Omata. He said so many things but the one that had been catching my attention and that of other Nigerians is the fact that they said they shot into the air to scare away hoodlums who attacked the wire moving from the barracks to the Lekki toll gate. They shot into the air, he said. General Ibrahim Taiwo also said that when he called, he specifically asked if anyone was done. If there has been any casualty, has been reported by live videos and pictures. But Colonel Bello said no, that there were no casualties. Only two people were seen to have fainted and they have been revived. In his words, he said, when I called Bello, he said that while they were being deployed, they were attacked by hoodlums and they released some shots into the air. I also asked him if anybody had died as it is being reported over the internet and he replied negative that nobody had died, that he had only seen two people who had fainted and were revived. Even after all the video and picture evidences the Nigerian army aren't coming out clean, they still insist that they didn't shoot at protesters. They shot into the air and they shot with a blank and not live ammunition. The videos and pictures speak otherwise because there is no way blanks would make someone bleed so much that it stained the Nigerian flag, injured some persons so bad they could not walk by themselves and even kill some of the protesters. The CNN video says it all. There was from the satellite which cannot be manipulated and also from the live video that we are recorded at the scene, especially that of DJ Switch. The army is not going back on their words. What's your take on this matter? Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, I am very, 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 very angry with the way, with the way this issue of of um of NSAS protest is being handled at the judicial panel. I'm very very angry, like seriously. I see. I I still know. I I, I still don't know what what other lies, what other lies 
will the Nigerian army be telling after CNN has been able to review the real video of the massacre? See, I've never seen a country as so deceitful and so lying like a country like Nigeria. And then have it in their satellites, of which you know that the CNN satellite cannot be manipulated in any way. Who are you to do that? You cannot do that. Why the NSAS protest was going on, the CNN satellite picked it up. Why the massacre was going on, the satellite also picked it up. And the satellite was, was still there showing clearly to the judicial panel that this is what happened at the Lekki toll gate. So what lies, what other lies are the Nigerian army still telling? What other lies? Is it only CNN that displayed it? What about the German media company DW? DW also reported it that, that they were at the scene. They were at the scene that it was true. It was true that there was a massacre. Okay, at first, the Nigerian government was we are actually lying that nobody died at first. Not until DW, the German media, came up and said it was a lie that they were at the crime scene, that they saw everything that happened, that people died, and the bullet that they shot was a live bullet. Before the Lagos State Governor, Babatunde Chowunlut, had to come up clean and said it was just three, which was still a lie. You get it now, which was still a lie. But then, not of recent, CNN now came up and said, my dear, this is what happened at Lekki Togate. Their satellites have a clear video of it, and they even played it at the judicial panel. Everyone saw it. So, which other lies is the Nigerian army still telling after the viewing of the video footage at the Lekki Togate? Which other lies are they telling? It's paining me so much that despite all of the proof, these people are still disciplining themselves. These people are still telling a lot of lies. This is the reason why I would say that the ICC should not take it lightly with these evil people. ICC should start paying attention to those petitions on their table. They should start inviting these people one after the other to, 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 to listen to their crimes. Because to me, it's going to be an injustice if nothing is done concerning this issue. Those people that have died, their soul will not rest until justice is gotten for them. Oh, look at it now. Look at it now. They are now so bad. They are now so bad. At first, they thought that the, the, the protesters, the, 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 the army can be able to press the protesters down. You see that? Or not to them that the, the youth have taken the have, have taken that decision that nothing will stop them from fighting to the latter. And that is what they did. So why are they lying? What are they going to gain from these lies? My viewers, I tell you that if nothing is done concerning this issue, you will see what is going to happen as per next protest. As per next protest. Because the youth are not going to take it. The world are watching. This is one of the requests that the youth presented to the President Mohamed Bouhari that, that justice should be served for these people. So please, my viewers, I call on you with a, with a bleeding heart, with a heart full of pains. Please, you have to leave your own comments be below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.